quarters and third quarters. Yeah, he was, it was exactly what he talked about. Exactly. Um, you know, oh, it, listen, he, he was great defensively. Uh, he was everywhere, uh, him and DJ. And, and the other guys, too, like that, that first quarter of defense was as good as you're going to get. The hands were in the right place, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of deflections. Um, you know, and then on the other end, the ball movement. But t to me, I think our guys are, you know, our guys like to score. You know, that's, but I think they're starting to really understand the more stops you get and the more consecutive stops you get, the more rhythm offensively you get. And I think they really get that now. Uh, and they even talk about it. You can hear them talking about it. Um, that's also the, the, the most upset I've seen our team at halftime. Um, I mean, that was great. I love that. I mean, they, uh, they were pissed. Uh, the starters were. Uh, because they, they get out to a big lead and, and it slips away. And I, I think the lesson for a second unit there is, um, you know, make your own day. Don't come in. You know, the first unit got it and they came in and they felt like they thought, well, let's just, you know, you know just join in. Well, you got to earn that, you know. And I, I don't think our guys did that. So. Better second half. I was happy with that. Was that the fire that ignited the team in the third quarter to blow them out simply because they caught up? From well, I don't know. I mean, the first unit did that in the first quarter. So they just did what they did in the first quarter all over again. The difference was this, the third, the fourth quarter, the second unit, uh, at least some of them, uh, you know, we didn't have the entire second unit on the floor, came in and, and finished the job this time. That was good. Uh, did you not see that at the beginning of the season, you know, when you go up by 16 or 18 and then lose that lead, not only did you get the lead back, you guys went up by 25. I mean, yeah. was that not there maybe at the beginning? No, but, you know, we wasn't ready yet. Yeah. Like I yeah. kept saying, you know, you can just see it. I said it early, you know, and um, now we're playing right. Um, what I liked about us, and I think it's, it's an area that we still got to keep growing, is uh, playing well through frustration. Um, I mean, because we were frustrated at halftime. <coughs> and, you know, the old team would have, came out and played with that frustration. This team went out and said, let's just keep playing our way and, and it'll work out for us. So I was, in some ways, you know, I never want that to happen, but it was good to see. Did you talk about halftime when you said the starter were frustrated? Did they talk more than you did Well, they were talking when they were walking by me <laughs> a lot. Let me put it like that. You know, they wanted me to do the, the talking, but they made it clear to me that they were not very happy. Doc, you guys are. Talk about the 17 three pointers. How impressive was that? And has that been an emphasis as well? It really hasn't. I don't ever emphasize threes. Um, you know, I just think if you're moving the ball, the ball will find the shooter. Uh, our guys understand who can shoot, and they try to get them shots. Um, you know, and, and that's really nice. Um, when you, you see it, you don't have to emphasize it. We know Jamal's a three point shooter. and and uh, JJ's a three-point shooter, Matt makes threes, and so we're getting them, and they're getting open threes. You know, they're not forcing shots. Uh, and that's what, we just gotta keep playing that way. Unselfish ball helps. Doc, you guys are 20 and one when your team gets over 30 assists. You had 34 tonight. Can you talk yeah. about the ball movement, and especially this, this winning streak you guys Yeah, have? well, I, I didn't know the stat, but I just know if you move the ball, then offensively you're gonna score, and then you have to defend as well. But. Uh, I think we're, we are just so good when we move the ball. Um, it makes it so hard to guard guys. It makes the JJ and Jamal lethal weapons. And then, you know, when you think that, you, you have to now guard CP and, and Blake one-on-one. -on -one. And that's what we're trying to do. Well, Blake's, Blake had, I think, another five or six assists tonight. He's yeah. been getting them two of these you know, I said it, and, and I didn't know it, but when I got the job, uh, Tony Brown, who I think was here his rookie year, I uh, was one of his assistants when Blake was injured. Uh, right when I got the job, he, he said, you're going to love his athleticism and all that, but you're going to fall in love with his passing. And uh, Tony was exactly right. Was there anything special you did with the game plan to help neutralize Anthony Davis' effectiveness on the defensive end? Not really. We just pulled in a lot. We just tried to clog the paint and uh, make him score on his second move, not his first move. You know, I think he had six points uh, where he just caught it and, and, and shot it. That's his first move. We didn't want that. We wanted him to try to force him uh, to score in his second move. He's a great player, you know, and he's hard to guard. Are there nights 
when you will shrink the floor and if it means leaving Luke Babbitt out for the least you'll live with it because ultimately you're taking out these Yeah, days. yeah. You can't do that every night. You can't. Uh, we live with it, uh, even though J.J. would accuse me of being very upset every time he made one because I thought we still could have got – I believe you can get in and out. Uh, but I think a lot of times, and this sounds silly, but if you start out and then you're going in, you can't get back out. If you get in early, you can get back out. And I, I thought a couple times we started on the outside and tried to work our way. It was too late. Now your momentum's going this way. So I, I know we can do that uh, better even. And uh, that's what I'll watch on film and try to correct. Were there any moments tonight where you allowed yourself to feel like a dad watching Austin? No. It, the only funny moment was when after they blocked Austin's shot and uh, Blake was yelling, get that stuff out of your dock. <laughs> you know, so I thought that was funny. Uh, that's, it's still hard. I mean, you want him to play well, and he actually did, but you just – it's a hard game for me. You know, I don't i don't enjoy this game at all. I, I, I'm happy when it's over. Um, and then we can move on to playing people that you really want to be. Are you cheering for him on the inside when he knocks down a three? Yeah, sometimes, you know. It depends on the score. <laughs> you know, if we're up, I'm cheering for him. If it's tight, I'm no longer cheering for him. Well, as the head of basketball operations, we get trade from him. I, I would, I'd take him. Uh, I love his speed, I'll tell you that. You guys held AD to only three rebounds tonight, and DeAndre had 16, I think. Yeah. Can you talk about the, the emphasis of keeping him off it the glass? Just, you know, like Kevin said earlier, we just we had a, a strong emphasis on the paint. Just, uh, you know, we said it all day today, five, you know, ten feet in the paint, ten feet in the paint, ten feet in the paint, uh, because it makes it crowded. And, you know, what we didn't want, every game we watch, AD comes with those running – tips and we just thought if there's enough bodies in the paint there's no way you can get a running start and you know today it worked. Do you think JJ was capable of a play athletically like the one with the reverse layup on uh, Davis? No. <laughs> <laughs> Neither the Davis or anybody else. That may be a one-time wonder. Not the way that he's played during this stretch I mean is that just a high product of the ball? Yeah, but I think it's again, it goes to stops. Yeah. We're getting a lot of, you know, uh, Kevin Eastman started it last year, and now our other coaches are doing it. Uh, you know, stops in a row, stops in a row. That's all you talk about. And then if you get three or four or five in a row, then all of a sudden you get a rhythm. The ball, everybody's happy. The ball's moving. Uh, and, and I think that's what's happening. But does the ball find him because he's the one? Yeah, yeah, I say it all the time. Yeah. If JJ's getting open shots, that means the ball's moving. Yeah. You see a game where JJ has two shots, we probably wasn't moving the ball a lot. Do you think Blake raises his game to even another level, and not that he doesn't relish the match, other matchups? Yeah, I'm assuming he does. I mean, I think all those guys, when they see each other, you know, they all downplay it, but come on. Yeah. Blake was shooting 50%.